Hello, Leo. Welcome to your weekly reading for January 16th to the 22nd. This is for Leo, Sun, and Rising. And if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional cult cross spread. I also use astrology in my guides to help bring a lot more clarity, to get more specific, a lot more detailed with your reading. Leo, I do this because I love you. I want you to feel like it's a personal reading rather than a general spread. Secondly, astrology has been used for thousands of years and that's why every tarot card has an astrological element or ruling planet or, I mean, we get really deep when they're involved, especially because uh, both astrology and tarot are, you know, uh, they're they're aligned with the tree of life. So that said, Leo, I'm very excited for this week, and you should be too. There are so you honestly, out of all the signs, I'm really really excited for what's happening for you. First of all, Mars, as we know, has gone direct. Okay, Mars was sleeping. Can you believe that he was sleeping? The planet of action was sleeping since Halloween. He's gone direct. So we love that uh, Mars has gone direct because it, Mars has been in Gemini, your your house, your social network. Okay, your community, your your even LinkedIn community, as well as your hopes and dreams. All right, so things are going to start moving fast. Mercury, as we know, will be finally going direct on Wednesday. So Mercury's been retrograde. That is going direct. And uh, at the end of this week, we enter Aquarius season and we have a new moon in Aquarius. Leo, you know why that makes me so happy for you? It's because it's in your seventh house. All right. Your seventh house of partnerships. All right. So uh, expect a new partnership to start manifesting around this weekend, okay? And that's both love and career, all right? Now, what makes it even extra special for you, Leo, Venus is in Aquarius too. So not only do we have that new moon in Aquarius, we have Venus there. We know Venus is all about love. Venus is all about money. It's all about sex. It's all about all those things we desire. It's the feel good planet. I love what's happening for you this week, Leo. So why don't we go ahead and get started? Oh, I was gonna say, if you're new to my channel, I do leave all the key astrological dates in the description box if you do want to follow along. But uh, I'm really excited because Leo, y'all are so fiery and you are just ready to get going. So why don't we do that, Leo? Why don't we get going? All right, here we go, Leo. Like I said, I do a traditional one called the cross spread. It's the most, uh, you know, it, it's very, uh, it gives the best general overview. I know it's, you know, very involved and it is, you know, possibly the, it's, it's one of the more complex spreads, but that's how much I love you. Yeah, that's how much I love you. You're amazing. Um, Leo, I love what I'm seeing here too because it's all about, you know what I said earlier, how y'all are just, you just want to get going, you just want to get going. Boom, look at this, okay? So let's get started. First of all, King of Wands in your past. I love the fact you got the King of Wands. King of Wands is someone who is, you know, it's funny. I always say he's, well, he is the fun king, right? He's the fun king. He's very, very like that Leo energy right here okay right here he's also the king that's just he worked he he worked his butt off to get here i also i always say he's the steve jobs of tarot because uh he's very influential he's very inspiring he really worked hard to get where he's at he left a legacy he didn't have to work for anybody else boom this is you all right so you've really come into your own i really love that for you leo i really love that one thing about the king of wands is that um, he is, you know, a protector. He's a provider, uh, very pragmatic, but he's also someone who worked again really hard. Okay. He's also the king that's like, um, imagine, I don't know the best, not like, uh, uh, like if it was a movie, if it was like, I don't know, like Will Ferrell, right. Uh, where, where he's at some kingdom and they announced and, and they're just like, you are now the king. He's like, me? I'm the king? That's It's it's almost like that energy, but when he sits in that throne, kills it. He kills it, and everybody loves him. So, Leo, I love where you're at right now, and look where that brings us. Ace of Swords in the heart of your spread, okay? This is the headline news of the week. You're going to have this huge breakthrough, 
all right? I'm very excited for you. Swords are the mental suit, okay? So a lot of it's going to be up here. It's almost like there's some things that have been on your mind, and I know that there have been things on your mind. You've had a lot on your mind, especially, you know, coming after that full moon in Cancer, all right? That was uh, may have been emotional for you. That was on January 6th, because that was in your 12th house, your subconscious, okay? So there could have been things around that time, especially coming after New Year's, when everyone makes resolutions, where you uh, have these moments of, you know, I'm deciding to leave this behind. I'm deciding to do this for this year to uh, improve my life. Uh, victory, success. I love this for you. I absolutely love this for you. Um, a message coming through is there may be a decision that you will have to make all right and uh it's going to be you know as they say with great power comes great responsibility right so i want you to just go with your instincts right now because this decision is huge and it's almost like listen remember i said at the end of the week we have that new moon in aquarius and that's going to be really big for you because we're 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 entering a new 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 chapter especially because you got the death card you want it you got the ten of swords and the root of your spread uh you want this okay you want change it is clear as day all right you especially just moving forward uh being back in that throne being able to make quick decisions being able to make decisions rule your own destiny listen the death card is all about transformational right changes a uh, process ending one chapter of your life moving on to another came up in your crown you want this you want this okay you want this change all right and i love that for you because you also got in the root of your spread the ten of swords which is the end of the suit okay so 10 is the end it's the conclusion all right now it is saying that you definitely have gone through it all right you've been having moments I, again a lot around january 6th my dog is scratching the around january 6th around that full moon it could have been really intense a lot of ruby it could have been really intense um as you can see the ten swords piercing this man in the back okay in the back you didn't see it coming a lot of burden a lot of burnout a lot of stress uh even you know like backstab energy right because it's in the back but i want you to know something here 10 is the end as i said and this card is the new dawn all right so this is dawn all right clouds are actually the dark darkness is lifting for the sun to come through okay start of a new day okay so you see his hand gesture of the hierophant all right that's wisdom sacred knowledge this is i want you to uh, uh you've definitely gone through it i want you to learn from 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 all the challenges that you've had learn from it grow from it become a better person become a better version of yourself all right because you want this change and you'll be moving forward now i need you to know you did get the page of wands in your challenge area okay now when i say challenge area sure that is what it means in this spread I want you to think of challenge as breakthrough, okay? Challenges are there for us to break through from, okay? Page of Wands. This is, you know, someone who is really compelled by the wand. Wand is passion. Wand is, you know, our ideas, creativity, but it's also work-related, okay? So career, enterprise, uh, it represents all that. Now, it came in your challenge area. So what does this mean? I don't want you to feel uninspired at this time, okay? There could be a moment where you're just feeling a little uninspired. And again, I get it. I, I see where you've been, you know, the past few weeks. Don't lose that inspiration because things are going to move forward for you, okay? Things are going to move forward for you in a big way. And I want you to have this transformation. I want you to feel empowered. I want you to feel liberated. I want you to choose, you know, love over fear with the page of wands in your challenge area it's almost like there's this uh you know uh he's a big dreamer is what the page of wands is all right and so i really really want you to continue to dream about the things that you want because you are in it's it's almost it's really interesting you're you're in the process right now of this transformation you have a lot of power moving forward so in your future, you did get the Eight of Swords. What does this mean? It means that 
you can see that she's surrounded by swords. All right, blindfolded, she's bound. When you're bound, you're literally out of touch. Okay, literally. It's the first time I'm using that word accurately. Um, here's the thing. She thinks that she is protecting herself. No, she's not, okay? Swords are sharp. Swords, you know, are very powerful. And when you build this f f fortress of swords is what she thinks she's doing. You're actually building a prison, all right? Remember I said the swords are the mental suit, so it's a it, it, prisoner of her thoughts. So you are gonna have a moment in, in, through this week where you may feel that there's a little bit of stress, a uh, little bit of fear, uh, uh, not really wanting to face some truths, not really wanting to, to see things for, for, uh, for what they are. What I want you to know, look at her feet, okay? They're loose. You can walk away from this. Leo, you can walk away from this anytime. You can just get out of your head. Listen, you did get the uh, Ace of Swords in the uh, in the heart of your spread. So you will have that breakthrough. Once you have that breakthrough, there could be some of y'all after that breakthrough that you've had, you're like, what next? And then you go back like in your head. And I don't want you to do that. If you do that, okay? If you do that, because listen, we're all human beings, all right? We're all human beings and we do this, you know, I do it a lot. I, you know, I'm like, a, quadruple air signs i'm always in my head but if you do this i want you to again learn from the things that have been holding you back learn from them and how you how you can move forward and not get trapped in that again right not get trapped because it's almost like psychological warfare here and there you go clarifying it you got the two of swords all right so facing the truth is going to be very important okay making that decision you got the two the only two cards in all of tarot where they're blindfolded, all right? So, uh, th this is choices, this is decisions. Remember I said earlier, I was getting a message that you would have to make a decision. There's your affirmation, okay? Uh, so, this is in your future, there is going to be, the other thing I said is trust your intuition, right? In the beginning of this reading. Now, you see the sliver of the moon, all right? You have to trust your intuition. All that water, water represents emotions, okay? So this could be a very emotional moment, especially powered, uh, paired with the Eight of Swords and the Two of Swords. This is pretty, pretty, like, a lot going on up here. A lot going up on, all right? You could be in, find yourself in a situation as well where you, uh, uh, where it wasn't like the decision wasn't it was out of your hands do you it, like it it wasn't uh it was just something that just sort of happened and you got stuck in the middle all right now it's going to resonate for some leos other leos listen it's it's a decision that you're going to have to make about moving forward uh especially being in this headspace and once you do that you saw what comes after you get out of your headspace and make that decision Trust your intuition, okay? That's what's gonna bring this, okay? You see that you got the Ten of Pentacles, all right? This is prosperity, this is success, this is the you made it card. This is, you know, in the tree of life, this is your kingdom come, all right? Ten, all right? You can see it's raining pentacles in the form of the tree of life, all right? So, Leo, you will be fine. I just want, you're gonna, you're gonna have a, uh, head heavy week. All right. A lot going on up here again. I'm not surprised because of um, that full moon in cancer was pretty emotional. It was really intense, but it was, uh, you know, there was a lot of aspects uh, with Uranus at the time. Um, it was that full moon was all about breakthroughs. So the Ace of Swords is about breakthroughs. And now you're going to be and there's going to be a lot going on up here. All right. But once you make that decision, once you decide to move forward, once you take once you take off that blindfold. I mean, enough said, right? Enough said. I don't know if people still say that anymore, but hey, I'm bringing it back. No, I'm not. I'm I'm sorry I even said that. It's a silly thing. Um, but again, prosperity, success. This is, look at all that abundance. Look how big their castle is. This is also legacy. This is, um, uh, uh, for a lot of y'all, you're going to have that moment of clarity is what it is, is, uh, 
who you know what is the legacy i want to leave behind who you know how do i want other people to see me um again career and family a lot of family energy actually a lot of family energy but um this is oh gosh this is just amazing for you okay so let's get to your stuff leo um hey if you like my reading it'd be great if you like subscribe leave comments i love your comments i and you know i always say if you're not a commenter if you're not the one who like writes stuff that's fine i love hearing from y'all but i also love emojis so if you know whenever i get like even the most random ones they always bring us they bring a smile to my face um when i get those notifications and if you are a subscriber you know i love you thank you so much for being here with me every week you make my day Leo, I love this. Look at this. Okay, let's get started. You got the three of cups, all right? This is all about bonding, all right? This is all about brotherhood, sisterhood. It's a celebration, okay? So there's a part of you where it's, you know, I want you to just, 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 uh, long hair, no care, okay? Do people still say that? Well, that's one that I'm not going to let go because I like it. Long hair, don't care. This is, I want you to celebrate. I want you to feel and celebrate. This is joy, the celebration. But again, bonding, okay? Bonding is very, very important, okay? I want you to be emotive. I want you to be emotive because one thing, here's the thing, okay? And you will, by the way, you will. But I have to tell you this, all right? Because it is a message that is coming through. You... I want you to, uh, you got all these swords. So there's a lot up here, okay? There's a lot up here. I want you to, this is, um, all the cups are coming up in your stuff. You didn't get any cup cards in, uh, in your main spread, all right? So I want you to be emotive, okay? I really do want you to know, um, you know, emotions are, they're neutral, all right? If you think about the word um, emotion, actually, uh, uh, emotere, right? From, from Latin, okay? And it actually means, energy and motion is what it means and so what does that mean it means emotions are neutral it's the action you toward you take toward your emotions that actually put them in motion all right so i want you to be emotive this week okay and i really want you to be able to you know have these moments of celebration have these moments of bonding bonding uh, raises our oxytocin levels go out there get a hug you're a leo give you're the hugger go give hugs now Four of Swords, Leo. Mm, this is amazing, okay? Because here's the thing. You got all these swords, but now you're getting the Four of Swords in your external factors area. This is saying that there is going to be a moment of like, you're going to have this moment to reflect, all right? And something's going to really help you. And I think it is going to be a person that comes through that, you know, is a source of inspiration or, or someone who really just, you know, gets you and just uh, have that conversation. Remember, Venus is in Aquarius, okay? In your seventh house. But Venus in Aquarius, remember, Aquarius is like the uh, humanitarian, right? So I want you to be social. I want you to have meaningful, relationships but at the same time I want you to use those moments to really just oof recover okay meditate have stillness of mind okay that's what I want for you I and it, it, it with it coming here in your staff it looks like you're going to do it so that's great okay so uh you see the process here and you see also you did get the Sun hi Leo hello you got the Sun the big fat yes right uh this is the uh, uh the sun is all about you know uh optimism and growth and promise and you know abundance uh i love this and you're looking for it and you know what it actually is saying here in your spread is that you feel it's almost like you you haven't felt like yourself and now that's almost like you want to be back in the saddle. You want to be back in, you know, in the groove of things. You want to be back in, you know, that Leo that you know you are. All right. So it's just this week where it's just, you know, you do want this transformation. And um, there, some of y'all are actually going through this transformation that is causing a lot of, you know, what's going on up here. But look where it leads to when you, when you have that stillness in mind, when you're able to make that decision, when you're able to face the truth. You have the Ten of Pentacles, and lastly, you have the Queen of Cups. 
and your final outcome, all right? I call her the Princess Diana of Tarot, all right? So this is someone who is very maternal, someone who is very loving, okay? Someone who's very nurturing. So in your final outcome, you're going to be sitting in that throne. You're going to have a lot of love to give. Leo, you are the, come on. Y'all already have a lot of love to give. And this is really great because the Queen of Cups has very maternal energy. She leads with her heart, right? And it's not only love for other people, but it's self-love too, okay? And then boom, look at that. Clarified. You got the Nine of Pentacles. Listen, this is all about abundance. And remember how I talked about Venus being in your seventh house, all right? Not only Venus in your seventh house, but that new moon at the end of this week in your seventh house, all right? partnerships but listen this is abundance okay this is you see venus the symbol of venus all over her gown don't you all right what did i say earlier venus is all those things that we desire love okay love relationships sex right uh money uh the, uh, the perfect job i mean listen everything that you desire and you can see that she has all this abundance she's like a movie star all right she has all this abundance in her life and she is completely fulfilled the financial you know success independence doesn't have to worry about anything this is really great this is you having you know worked your way to get to that point so what's really interesting is all of this is actually you all right this is your journey there's nothing here that's like you know, luck, and it's you earning your spot. Remember, we started with a king of wands who worked his butt off to sit in that throne, right? He worked so hard to sit in that throne, and now we're ending with the nine of pentacles. You see the snail, all right? You see the snail on the ground. The snail is indicating all this abundance, slow and steady. You worked for it. Um, listen, you're, you're good, okay? Spend some time just really, you know, um, you're, there's going to be a lot on your head this week. But in the end, look at that. Look at that. Spend some time really just reflecting and, and you know, even meditating if that's your thing. Um, I'm just looking at my camera now, my hair. I look like I'm in um, like a Korean boy band or something, right? Because my hair is so long. Anyway, you know, that's me going off on a tangent. Leo, I love you so much. Again, if you like this reading, it would be great if you like, subscribe, and leave comments. You know I love it. Uh, I love emojis. And if you're new to my channel, uh, no, if you're a subscriber, I love you. Thanks so much for being here. I will see you next week. And next week's a big week. All right, bye-bye.